Now I'm going to show you a few methods that we have available for us when we're selecting our photos. As you can see here, I've got quite a few photos, but if I want to target just a few of them, I need to know a few little keyboard shortcuts. First of all, if I just want to select one image, all I need to do is click on it. You'll notice a little blue border that appears, and that's now selected. If I want to select this image as well though, I'd need to hold down control. That's going to allow me to select any alternate image that I want. If I want to select this one as well, I'll hold down control and click on that and that's now selected. If I didn't have control down and I came and selected this image here, that would deselect all the other images. So you do need to be making sure that you're holding down control. Now, if I did want to select all these images on this top row, all I'd need to do is click on the first one, come across to the last one, then hold down shift and click on that last image. That selects the whole row there. Now, if you decide that you want to select all the images within your catalog, all you need to do is go to the edit menu and choose select all. If you want to deselect all these images, you can either click on this little gray area here and that'll deselect the images, or you can go to the edit menu and you can choose deselect. So these are just a few little ways that we have available to us when we're trying to select our images. But selecting your images is really important because if you haven't first selected an image, you haven't actually told Photoshop Elements what photo we're working on. So just keep that in mind.